Hey everybody, this is Brett from Lost Highway. Uh, we're here today to do a, kind of an informative video on uh, L-Track. L-Track and L-Track Explained. Basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of explain to you what L-Track is, why we put it in our vans, um, and then we're gonna kind of lead into why we make an interior bracing kit basically with L-Track uh, on the walls and on the, the ceiling that helps you build out your van and helps you secure items in your van. So let's start out with a little bit of, um, I guess, history. And I don't know all the history about L-Track, but I'm just gonna kind of give you um, a few bits and pieces of information here so you're a little more educated on why we're putting L-Track on, on the walls and on the ceiling. So L-Track stands for Logistics Track, and I'm sure it came from probably aircraft industry or vehicle transportation. Basically, it's a it's an aluminum extruded uh, tie-down tracking system. Uh, it comes in several shapes and sizes. We use the recessed flange style. Um, I've got a piece here. There's also surface mount radius. There's surface mount angular. Um, there's square. Depending on who you buy it from, there's all sorts of different shapes and sizes. The real details are just basically in this round hole pattern. Um, and it's a machine pattern in here. They're all typically the same. This pattern I'm talking about, not the drilled and countersunk pattern, but this one inch on center pattern that you see here, that's the same in all styles, outer styles of, of L-Track. Basically what this does, there's all kinds of accessories that lock into here, um, drop the D-rings in, you have a place to tie a tie down strap, basic, super simple. Um, that's, we use a lot. That's the kind of the real reason that we use L-Track um, for cargo control purposes. Um, there's also these cool hooks. You can get these from a few suppliers. Um, Stay Ready, I believe, has these, and Max Tie Downs has these. I think um, some other people out there. These sometimes fit. These are manufactured plastic. They don't always fit in every L-Track. Um, they are a little bit snug to get in some of the cutouts you might want to find one that actually fits your needs um, this one here is not fitting into this track i'm not sure this manufacturer is but you can get these hooks different styles that work in this in this tracking basically what we've done is um, with our kits that use this on the roof and the the walls of the sprinter van and we're working on a kits for the transit van also is we take some sheet metal structures and we attach them structurally to the inner stampings of the van so on a sprinter you've got a five to seven five and a 144 seven and a 170 uh, roof beams and we've gone over this in another previous install video so i'm not going to go into the install process of that whole that whole structure but basically what our foundation kit is is it it covers up all the factory holes uh puts these yellow beams in place that are all pre-drilled ready to go to install l-track you do not have to use our l-track kits um, the, the kit that we provide is kind of a two-fold kit you can smooth out the van walls cover up all the factory holes and it gives you a nice place to mount uh, full one-piece wall paneling if you want to do wall paneling or if you want to do wood slat roofing or whatever it gives you a grid pattern the roof especially uh, and it blanks out all the factory holes to give you a place to mount wall paneling, roof paneling, ceiling paneling, whatever you want to call it. When you add our L-Track, the L-Track has got locations in it that are pre-cut. You can put that in into the kit when you add on or purchase, and that basically breaks up the paneling and gives you a place to clamp the paneling in and a, and a means to clamp it in without having to screw the paneling on the walls. Um, and it, it basically gives you a, a, a wide variety of how to mount cabinetry, how to tie things down if you got dirt bikes, mountain bikes, whatever. Um, and it makes it a really modular interior install kit. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna, this is gonna be an intro for two videos. We're okay, uh, we are getting ready to jump into the details of this 170. We have a 170 here that we put the L-Track kit in. Um, so we have a parts list here. Uh, this one, is a slightly different and we'll show you that we're, we're missing a piece in this van and I'll explain why and this is kind of a, a good reason 
um, it, a good explanation, I'd say, as to how universal this kit can be. So um, let's get in this 170. It's got some insulation in it already, so we're going to kind of work around that. Um, and then we'll kind of give you some details on the, the part numbers and how uh, this l tracks installed in the 170 kit. Okay? Okay. Um, as we're going to be going through the installation of parts and explanation of the l track in our l track kits something else i want to add um which this kind of goes back to the install video of the the structure behind the l track all of our yellow parts that get installed to give you your headliner foundation or your wall foundation installation and l track installation um, basically we've got a pretty good video on that on youtube um, if you need to start there first, obviously, and we'll get your install instructions, uh, in install kit done. Um, what I want to point out is when you buy this kit and when you order this kit, understand what it's for, which we hopefully would explain that as far as getting your wall paneling in, um, using l track with or without it, doesn't really matter. Um, be tr honest with yourself before you order. And what I mean with that is, kind of know your skill set um, this is a very very DIY friendly kit um, yeah we've done a few of them here in the shop quite a few probably six to eight I'm guessing so far um, we can install uh, the wall structure and roof structure yellow pieces and L track all within a day and a half um, very easily very common tools but you do have to be aware of you're going to need an air compressor um, you're going to need a pneumatic uh, rivet gun which will handle up to a quarter inch steel rivet. So make sure you purchase that. You're gonna need a riv nut gun, highly recommended pneumatic riv nut gun instead of the hand crank, the hand leverage ones. Um, these are six millimeter riv nuts. Um, you're gonna need a drill. You're gonna need uh, probably a framing square. Um, I've highlighted some simple tools like a string line kit um, in my other video. Uh, just be aware that there are some things in this kit that you're going to have to think about. It's not just a plug and play. You need to be sure and be honest with yourself that you know how to use hand tools. Um, you know how to have some forethought, you know, think ahead of the next move. Um, we're here for you to give you any instruction that you might need over and above what the videos provide or maybe what we're lacking in our videos. Um, you're free to call and just pick our brains and ask some questions. Um, we have Tristan on, on customer support or myself that can give you um, any install info that we may be lacking. Um, but before you order this again, please be aware that it is a very hands-on kit. We try to do our best to make it very DIY again. Um, and builders are you know, constantly working with tools, constantly building vans. They seem to have no problem installing this. It's very quick, very easy. Um, some of you that have not started out or not done anything with the van yet, um, other than just kind of planning that this is a little intensive, but it's very easy once you get the ball rolling and get started. So just again, before you order, understand what this kit is, what it does, and understand that you you do need to have some, some skills, some tools, the correct tools that is gonna cost you um, if you don't have the tools, you gotta to make some, make some purchases um, to put this kit in. We do install it, so if you have that as you have that as an option, if you want to bring your van to us for, to put it in, um, we can get it out very quickly. Um, but just that's a quick point there to make sure that before you purchase, you're aware that it is going to require um, some skill, um, being a little crafty. Again, some forethought on, on what you're doing, not moving too fast take your time not taking it and going three steps ahead and then having to go backwards um, so we can explain that to you again and I uh, hope you uh, are successful in installing this kit it's here to help you out and get your van built quickly and more efficiently and uh, and to be a really modular item for you so that you can enjoy um, building the rest of your van okay so let's get into some more details about this kit okay here we are on the 170 um, again this, these part numbers on these tracks, L tracks, are going to be on the packaging for each individual part. The parts are packaged individually. <clears throat> Don't cut them all open, <coughs> excuse me, and make a big stack. Be aware that the part number is on the label, on the plastic packaging, so that you can match this as you go. 
um, as in the 144 video that we just hit, did is gonna we're gonna show you uh, the verticals it's probably best to install your verticals first we prefer to do that and that gives us some indication on where everything else ties in um, we'll explain that here in a minute but right now we're going to go through the part numbers and locations for the 170 l track that goes onto our roof and wall structure kit okay here we are again with the dru one 58.56 universal times one universal times one means that it goes into a 170 and a 144 and it's the upper piece above your window the 144 video did not have this window installed it is the driver dr upper one 5.8562 the forward the forward hole on this l track installation hole for the bolt is the second hole back the second machined hole back in the l track the rearward bolt hole is in the first hole of the track if you have it backwards flipping around okay like eight inch on center the rest of the holes lines up with our wall structure kit now you would be moving on to in a lot of vans, we're moving on to the DRU2 kit that goes in here. So, your roof and wall structure kit in the 144s and 170s comes with a piece that runs right along here, a yellow piece that you can attach. Um, that structure piece and the L track does not work very well with the Terra Wagon tidy trim kits that we use to finish our vans out. Um, the reason why is the tidy trim window frame, and it's a universal kit, it's nothing to do with the Terra Wagon kit at all, just trust me. It's the window frame comes down and is flanges, is the flange is way down here. So for our l track to run over it, it doesn't fit very well. Um, so basically when we use the tidy trim kit in the vans, window frame, uh, sliding door track, front and rear headliner covers, rear door posts, we use the whole thing, we do them all the time. We eliminate the L-Track going across here because the tidy trim kit tucks in nice to the frame, fits the window great. Um, what it does is then we just make a, a panel that, that ties in with that flange right here and makes a nice good seam. Um, we, your L-Track kit comes with this piece, so if you're not gonna use it, just hang on to it, put it somewhere else. Um, if you're not gonna use the tidy trim kit, you can go ahead and add it in. Uh, we have some pictures on our website that show both, so the tidy trim kit and, you know, with, with or without it. Um, I don't see a purpose of having l track back forward this far, unless you're gonna like mount a galley up here or whatever, you can put it in. We just choose not to, I'm not saying you can't, but it just looks a little cleaner without it. And then the wall finishes out nice and tight. So. This is why in this van, again, you do not see DRL1 58.56, okay? Um, we're gonna go back up here. We're gonna work our way to the back of the 170 and show you the rest of the part numbers. So we have DRU1, we explained that one. We're gonna skip DRL1. We're not putting it in this van. We're gonna go to DRU2 driver side upper number two 52 and a half inches long from seam to seam make sure you measure it make sure you check it this one is a little tricky and you'll see these a couple times in this van this hole your first mounting hole is on the third hole in okay with it facing forward so the four the, the forward portion of the l-track the bolt hole is in the one, two, third hole, okay? The rearward facing portion of the L-Track is almost in the third hole. It's you're gonna it's gonna come like this. It's got a, a partial cut here in this machined hole, but it's in the full hole, it's in the second full hole, okay? Full round, second full round hole with a partial hole. This one's the only really tricky one in the whole kit. So make sure you check it before you go install it. Make sure that butting up to the seam of the DRU one, that the DRU2 is the front hole is in the third hole of the L-Track, okay? DRU2, 52 and a half inch. Okay, DRL2, 50.5, a little different than this one. Not universal as some of those were. 
This one, as you can see, that upper one transfers over the top of the L track. The seam is on this edge. So DR upper two goes over the top of this vertical and the seam is out here. DR lower two, which in this case would be the first one that's low because we're eliminating that, but the part number still is DR L2 50.5, dead heads into the vertical, okay? The frontward mount hole is in the very first hole of the L track, okay? The rearward hole towards the back of the van is in the second full round hole with the half hole there. So you got a half hole, one, two, that's the rear word of this L-Track, DRL2, okay? Let's go up to the front, to the rear here some more. We're gonna go DRU3, driver's side, upper three. One, two, three, three pieces. DRU3, 52 inch, okay? the forward mounting hole. This one's a little tricky also. So this one appears to be in my drawing to be a little more universal than the most. So you can try to flip it. If things are lining up both ways, you're probably good. You can see a section here from this seam. It's a long flat. Then it's one hole, two hole. That's where your bolt hole is at. Okay. In the rear, you're gonna notice a long flat, one, two, that's your second hole. Now, with these being eight inch on center, I don't have a tape measure here. My drawing doesn't list that. It is eight inch typical. This part can probably is universal if you flip it over. But again, just check it, make sure that your seam is tight and that your first hole is there before you permanently install this. Um, don't trust typically, you know, what I'm saying here, like it, it could, even though it's could be forward, this part can probably be flipped over. So check that before you permanently install it. Okay. Now, again, this one goes over the top of this vertical L track. You can see that it's going to differ from the driver's side L3, DR L3. It's going to be different than DR L3 because DR L3 dead heads into the edge of the cell track. So DRL3, 48.5 at this seam. It's got a half hole, one, two. It's in the second full hole with a half hole here. Um, that's the front of DRL3, okay? You're gonna go to the back of DRL3. You've got one, two, three full holes. It mounts in the third full hole at the rear. It's not like that, flip it over, okay? So that takes care of the driver's side. We're gonna run through a couple of pieces on the passenger side, then we're gonna to move to the roof and the verticals. A 170 uh, passenger side, starting behind the sliding door. We have PS U1 52.5. Passenger side, upper one, 52 and a half. The front mount hole is in the third hole back from the edge of the L track, one, two, three. The rearward hole at the seam is in the second hole from the rear got a little half cut there but if you're not if you don't have a third mounting hole here flip it over check it again it goes over the top of this vertical l track um, it has a seam back here we're going to go to the lower one here which is ps l1 50.5 and it dead heads into this l track right here so it doesn't go across um, this 15 and a half inches long the front hole facing forward of the van is in the very first single hole of the L track. The rear mounting hole is one, two full holes with a little half. So it's about two and a half holes from the back. Okay. That's PS L1 50.5. Now we're going to go to PS upper two 52 inch passenger side does not have a third piece so because of the sliding doors passenger side you're only gonna have two pieces labeled PS 52 this again like the rear pass rear driver's side 
probably more universal. Uh, flip it over, check it. Uh, 52 inches. The first hole is in the second hole back in the L track, about two inches back. You have a long, flat, one, two, full hole. Rear of the L track, long, flat, one, two, full hole. So again, just like the driver's side, flip it over. If you have any misalignment, this one's probably almost universal. Uh, just check it and make sure that it's, it's close. Um, and that one should fit, should bolt right in. We're gonna go to PSL2 before we move on to the top. PSL2, 48 inches long. Uh, the front has a half radius hole. The first bolt is on the second full hole from the front. So your first bolt hole is half, one, two. And then your rearward bolt hole is the third full hole, one, two, three. That's your rearward bolt hole on PSL2 48.5. Let's move to the verticals, which I stated you should probably get installed first. Uh, and then we'll work, give you those item numbers and then we'll go to the roof. Okay, we're here uh, taking care of the verticals in the 170. You have four full length verticals, universal part number through the 144 and 170. Item is vert, 55 universal times four. When you're putting this in, you're gonna start a little bit lower uh, on, you have your roof structure, your wall structure piece kind of shaped like an F. Um, you're gonna start this down a little bit um, into one of the first holes. That's, I believe, in one of our install videos for the structure kit. Um, but basically, to give you the L-Track details right now, the first bolt hole in the L-Track is in the first hole in the L-Track. You have a long flat right here. The bolt is in the very first hole of the L-Track. On the top, the top bolt hole is the very first hole. The lower bolt hole to attach this to the wall is in the second L-Track hole, okay? And like I explained in the 144 kit, you wanna get these in first. You wanna work this piece down from the top. As this takes curve to the wall, it gets shorter. So a longer straight line is longer. When we curve this into the wall, it gets a little shorter, meaning you don't wanna install this hole and this hole and try to pull this in because your holes won't line up when you go to install them. You gotta suck this thing in and work it down from the top move your way in, get the middle pulled in, and start to get your holes aligned before you jump to installing this bolt and that bolt because nothing else will line up. So uh, this will take shape to the wall, but you gotta take a little time and get this worked in and take some time to get them bolted in. You're gonna wanna put these in before you do the horizontals. So verticals, four pieces, uh, top hole is the very first bolt hole. Second one is second hole in. That goes the same for driver's side. Passenger side, fronts, driver's side, rear, passenger side, rear, that hole's universal. Um, and basically that's it for the verticals. We're now move on to the roof. Okay, 170 roof l track. This item is RF184 universal times two. Um, again, this was went over, we went over this in the 144 video. Universal means that it it's our designation for the part works in a 144 and 170. So you're gonna have 84 inch pieces. You have two of them in this van in the 170. The forward, the front of the van facing bolt hole is in the very third full hole of the L-Track. The rear bolt hole where your first seam is gonna be is in the very first hole of the L-Track, okay? So establish those on the driver and passenger side, and then the rest of your stuff will fall into place. Uh, that's RF184 universal times two. RF meaning roof. One is the first one in line. Remember all these ones, we start one, and we go backwards. One through three or four, however many pieces you're gonna have. So RF2, 80 inch. 170 times two. So roof, two, second one in line, 80 inch, 170 times two. Same part driver, same part passenger. The first hole, uh, first machined hole, from first bolt hole is in the very first machined hole of the L-Track. Um, butts up nice, same as this one here. So your first hole for the bolt uh, is in the first hole of the L-Track. The forward facing, sorry, the forward facing bolt hole is the first hole in the L-Track. 
your second one. Sorry, that 170 has two pieces, just like the 144. I misspoke and said three. Your rearward bolt hole is in the second machined hole of the L-Track. So if you come to your front seam all the way up here and your bolt hole is in the second hole, flip it around. Make sure your forward facing bolt hole in the RF280-170 is the first hole in the L-Track, machine hole in the L-Track. Same part driver, same part passenger. Um, and they're probably gonna have a PS number on those, or they might just have roof RF2. So universal, roof's the same, no differences between the walls. So you're gonna have RF1, RF2, you're gonna have RF1 and RF2 for the roofs, okay? And that should wrap it up with the 170s. Um, again, we have some pieces that we're gonna be adding to this kit that are gonna come out. Some verticals here which are not done yet that will accommodate our platform bed in the 170 so there will be a vertical here um, with the structure we should have that in a couple of weeks take care of that and again this piece in the 170 is missing due to the finished kit for the terra wagon we like to leave it out um, that's why you don't see it in this video um, if you have a 144 go to the 144 video different details shows you some wall paneling and uh, cabinet install. So this is the 170 kit. If you have any questions, give us a call. We can help walk you through the L-Track installation or give you any information we have on uh, part numbers or missing information from this video. Okay, thanks a lot.